I was always interested in opening things and uh, seeing what's inside. Um, if we stay on the topic on radios, like I remember even like you know opening up a radio, seeing um the speakers inside of them, and then after messing with the speakers, you know, and blowing them, uh, then then like my attention went to like say the magnets on the on the speakers. And then, you know, and then getting to play around with magnets, you know, all of that, all, all engineer is all different engineering uh, concepts, you know, like magnetism is, is, uh, is like, is, I mean, it's heavily mechanical systems there, but, but still. But we know even like, right, magnetic fields uh, create uh, potential differences, which does lead to uh, electricity, right? So. Even <laughs> look at that. It's all it's all related. Um, it's all related. So, but yeah, I always remember opening toys like, and I remember even like say playing with batteries, right? Like just the basic understanding of knowing how to connect batteries together in series, right? To like turn on to like turn on a light or to power a light bulb. Um, you know, I always I found it that interesting, and uh, I always remember I always pl- like playing with batteries and just connecting them. Boom. Welcome to another um, video. Okay. So this is, uh, we're trying to focus on uh, technical skills development. Okay. So, um, what question, one question I would like to answer today is, where should you start when learning electrical engineering? Where should you start? Okay, so um, I would say learning Ohm's Law, okay? And this 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 can be applied for, for you guys that, are, that have no interest in going to college or you guys that, that want to go to college, right? But if you're particularly just interested in electricity uh electrical engineering electronics or whatever uh relative topic okay you want to start with ohm's law okay ohm's law can take you far um it's the foundation right if you understand ohm's law after ohm's law you can go to power you know um after power basically after like dc systems we can start making your way to ac systems but um so learning ohm's law or knowing what ohm's law is and how it's applied is the foundation of electrical engineering and even if you do go to university um that's where you're going to start you're going to start right there and then you're just going to build off of that, build off of that, build off of that, and go into different aspects of electrical engineering. But Ohm's Law is where you would want to start. Um, you know, so when you, so the thing with Ohm's Law is, uh, Ohm's Law are just characteristics, right, of power. So you have resistance, which would be your resistor. You have your current, okay? And then you have your voltage, which is your potential difference, right? And your current is really the, is your rate of speed of uh, of the electrons, right? So, um, so in simple terms, you always need, or you need to be given at least two characteristics to find the other, the third. Is it's really like basic algebra, okay? Um, obviously, yeah, it's basic algebra. Let's just keep it at that for now. Uh, so for an example, if you if you are if you don't like circuit analysis, usually they, they and they know like the the way the problems are set up, they usually give you two out of the three, and you got to find the other. That's like that's where you start. Once you understand that. You can move on and learn the other thing. So if they give you the resistor and the current, you're always going to be able to find the voltage. If they give you voltage and the current, 
you're always going to be able to find um, the, re the resistance of the system or the impedance, you know, but keeping it simple here. Um, but yeah, so it's always the either or the, uh, two other others and you'll be able to find the, the missing piece. And then you can also find power with those characteristics. Um, so you eventually learn the power formula and then you'll be able to apply that, you know, but that's where you start. Um, I would say that's like the, the, um, the, the, say the knowledge base part, um, of, of like the whole electrical engineering, uh, say study. <coughs> field of study okay but where i think i started really um you know a lot of people do say this but for me it's true as a you know when i was young you know i was really always i was always interested in what was inside of toys or like how how things work specifically even like radios like i used to t open up radios i'll get a radio and i'll and i'll i'll rather open it than actually use it to listen to like whatever is coming from it <laughs> um, but anyways i was really i was always interested in opening things and uh, seeing what's inside um if we stay on the topic on radios like i remember even like you know opening up a radio seeing um the speakers inside of them and then after messing with the speakers you know and blowing them uh then then like my attention went to like say the magnets on the on the speakers and then you know and then getting to play around with magnets you know all of that all to be honest all of that is is like you know is uh all of that is basic is base is basically all engineer is all different engineering uh concepts you know like magnetism is is uh it's like is i mean it's heavily mechanical systems there but but still but we know even like right magnetic fields uh create uh potential differences which does lead to uh electricity right so even <laughs> look at that it's all it's all related um it's all related so but yeah i always remember opening toys like and I remember even like say playing with batteries, right? Like just the basic understanding of knowing how to connect batteries together in series, right? To like turn on to like turn on a light or to power a light bulb. Um, you know, I always I found it that interesting, and uh, I always remember I always pl like playing with batteries and just connecting them. Um, even with the basic, like you be like sometimes I'm surprised today how some people don't even know how to put batteries in a flashlight like sometimes like they put they put it opposite of of how it should go in <laughs> like i'm like oh my that like it's it's right there but i guess to some people it's not that simple you know it's not that simple to take batteries to be able to identify the positive and the negative and then the line in them t inside the flashlight some I don't get it. Some so for that for some people they'd be like the bat the flashlight's not working, but you check the battery, it's upside down, or at least one of them is upside down, you know. So yeah, man, that's like I think that's where I started, and I mean I also remember always like um like helping my uncle, on like on like fixing his car, um I I, I would say I definitely like I learned a lot doing that, um. Like, this is how I'm trying to, like, remember kind of, like, how I ended up going to school and, say, coming to the, the conclusion of, oh, I want to learn electrical engineering or I want to go into elect the electrical side of things, um, of study. So, but yeah, I think that's that's where, so meaning, like, that's, a, that's, that's th these are good places to start. Understand what Ohm Law is, okay, if especially if you want to be like a designer or a thing like that yeah that's like the science but in terms of like hands-on try to be try to get involved in a lot of hands-on things as you can like buy buy circuit boards build circuits 
um, even if it's just as as simple as timer circuits build those uh try to power led lights or whatever on a circuit board like just doing those wiring and, and feeding from your source you know it's 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 good practice you shouldn't have to wait to go to college to do those things you know i'm um i'm trying to i'm i'm giving you that like i'm giving you that and i mean there's there are other people out there i'm sure that would uh would probably say the same thing but honestly like i had nobody in my family that that say was that's an engineer so like i didn't have that luxury either of like say i was i was fostered as a an engineer coming up to going to school no you know it was just things i was personally interested in that led me into this direction and um, and obviously there was people uh good people around me that, that that gave me solid advice and and me um acting upon those advice um kind of led me to what i do now you know so but yeah but that's how i think that's how i started and i'm sure you can probably start that way and probably implement some of these advices yourself um especially for you young and uh you 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 younger up and come you young up and coming engineers out there okay there's so many information online but um knowing knowing like what direction or war what's like what you should focus on is very important so you're not wasting your time okay it's almost like a book right like if you have a book of instructions you know like you get it step by step by step which builds your knowledge by the time you get to the end of the book um so i think this will be a good place to start you know um ohm's law and then when it comes about when we're talking about like practical and hands-on stuff build circuits get a circuit board they're pretty cheap um work with that um work on your own car try to fix and troubleshoot your own problems like become a problem solver whatever problem you have in your life try to figure out especially if it's if it needs some kind of technical skill right yeah i don't care try to figure it out and solve it yourself um you know that's that's kind of how you build that that's how you start man that's how you build that skill and by the time you like say you you're out of high school or whatever or your time you're you're about to go to college you're you're, you're gonna be well-rounded you're gonna know a lot and you're gonna be prepared um say for like going into really any engineering um field because that's what it is it comes down to problem solving and troubleshooting like at the end of the day you know but that's what i got for you guys today i'll catch you on the next episode peace Thank you.